Hello, my name is Beth Beam, and I'm going to demonstrate the use of the ILC Dover Papper machine. For this device, we need to use filters that actually connect to the outside of the device. So we need to go ahead and take the caps off, both on the front side and on the back of each one. So we'll go ahead and put these onto the device. And you can see that the back side is kind of rounded and we're going to actually put the filters on either side. And they screw right into the little circles that are on the side. Okay, and once those are tight, then we need to look at the bottom of the device. And the bottom also has a hole. And in this case, we're actually just going to go ahead and use a, a uh, small plug to cover that one. So now we have all of our holes covered, the two sides and the bottom. We'll set it back on its bottom here. So now we need to go ahead and test the power of the device. We actually use the little power tester that they give us um, and put it inside of here. And then we're going to hit the power button, which is right here next to it. And you'll see that the flow meter goes clear to the top. There's actually a line. Um, that shows you where the minimum is and that flow meter needs to at least go over that line. So I think we're very good there. So now we'll go ahead and connect the rest of our pieces. With the ILC Dover tubing, we have two connectors. They are identical, so it doesn't matter which goes where. We'll go ahead and connect um, one side and screw it on to the uh, top of the machine. There is actually a swivel in this, so it will screw nice and tightly and shouldn't come undone. And then here is our hood. And on the, on the upper back side of it, there's another connector just like the one in our machine that we can go ahead and screw the hose to up there. So now we have all of our pieces connected. The only thing left to do is to connect the belt. And you can see on the belt, um, there's a mounting bracket kind of piece, and that bracket is the same shape as the papper motor itself. And so as long as your bracket is in the same um, general direction, I mean, you can see there are these two slots right here, and that's where I'm going to go ahead and slide the um, inserts on my mounting bracket into. You'll hear a snapping sound. And then my, my belt is connected and I'm ready to then um, work on putting it onto my person who's going to wear the pappers. So that is how this one goes together. It is possible when you go to screw on your filter um, to do that and leave the external cap in place. It's important to make sure that both of those caps are removed from the filter before it's installed in the machine for it to work properly.